What's going on, interwebs? It's your boy K Dizzle, A5 Gaming, back at you again with the PvP Arena Season 16 Axie Infinity. So, um, we are gonna do two replays today. We got some pretty good replays for you guys, guys and gals, gals and guys out there. Let's kick it off with this first fight. This is a fight against a double fish. Double fish. Double fish plant, I really think, is is really mash on the buttons, you know what I mean? Like, it's got tons of just damaging cards. There is the swift escape, of course, on the midline axis, so that, you know, when the tank goes down, then you have a speedy tank in the middle. And then, of course, at the end, again, with the swift escape, of course. Swift escape, flanking smack, I think it's smart. Anti-tank, so you, so you definitely see all risky fishes. You know what I mean? The double risky fish. So we're going to have a really tough time keeping our front axie alive. And so they do decide to go in. Uh, that is one situation. So I had an uh, October tree and a wooden stab. I elected to not use the wooden stab. Going back into it, probably should have. Probably should have, along with this kind of cover both situation. We get carrot hammer, so I decided I'm going to play it all. And then, um, ooh. Okay, so luckily they don't do an additional attack right here because one more attack would have definitely killed. But thankfully for that, we survive and do two big 145 damage chunks right there. And those 240, those uh, 145s came out because our shield was broken. So that's why we got so much damage on the tank. Big value plus some energy. And if you look at the energy deficit right now, we're up to energy. And then we got one, two, three, four, five cards. So they're one, two, three, four cards. We're sitting in a pretty good position right now if you ask me. So they do decide to go in, but we got the jump. So I was in a bad situation. Like, I could have played two, one card, you know, but I didn't know if they were going to play an October treat, October treat. So I decided to play two cards just to guarantee the kill here. And then um, we do get two other cards shot back, and I don't know if it was too much of a good idea to, to uh, go ahead and sit tight and play any cards with the tank either. I, I don't think I even had any cards to play with the tank. I would have played a carrot hammer if I had it. Okay, so this situation. This is really good for our bug axie here because it's anesthetic, anesthetic bait. It says aquatic card. This is two aquatic characters. So we are going to put on heavy amounts of stun. And they're going to have a really hard time breaking through this. But they both do have large amounts of life right now. I'm going to go for that back row axie. And we're going to go ahead and plant the aroma on it using blackmail. And so now that guarantees that our, um, our bug axie is going to strike the back. Which, in my opinion, good point here. Now, this is another interesting thing, too. If they're stunned, and let's say there was a shield, then uh, you break through the shields. You, go, you deal damage before the shields if they're stunned. So I, just, I literally just learned that the other day. And this time I did it in proper order. You'd need to do the Sunder Armor in the middle because you don't want to waste the Sunder Armor then. You want to discard as many cards as possible. Smart to use that Tail Slap at the end in order to negate the stun. But of course, we're in a very commanding situation. At least, at least that's what I think. You know, but look what happened. A critical. And we are completely in a bad situation now. And these two cards will... Miss the first one, and the second one will take it out. So now we are in a heads-up situation against a, a fish. And I personally don't like that. And I think that's very uncomfortable for me because they're about to draw five, their fifth card for energy. They can go all in. I can go all in as well. We got a dark swoop in hand. Hopefully we don't draw another dark swoop. We do not draw another dark swoop. Thank goodness we're able to do maximum damage here. We probably could go double all-out shot, but I don't think I trusted my own math. Yeah, I didn't trust my own math, so I decided, you know, we're going in with this. And we get the jump, thankfully. And this is, okay, the critical is a little over the top third. You didn't need to go that in. But yeah, Boomy Scholarship 27. Shout out to people doing scholarships out there. Really good people out there. Good stuff. You out there listening, if you're going for a scholarship, I hope you get your scholarship as well. <clears throat> be cool if I was in a position to hand out scholarships, but unfortunately, I'm not. Oh, this is an interesting one because they got the bug buzz. And bug buzz on the tank. Bug signal, excuse me, on the tank. It's very interesting, you know. You have to chain it with another bug signal card. And so um, this is the only one of their characters with bug signal. One bug 
some signal hand. Ooh, double single combat. Oh my goodness. And so I'm looking at my opening hand like, okay, October Tree, Wooden Stab. We have a Dark Swoop Bird. So I'm look at look at the cards that I wind up drawing. I feel that if I just had um, Egg Bomb, we could end it right here. But you know, rerunning the math back, I just needed to play this, and it would have knocked out the bird. And I think I decided to go for it. Yes, I did. I decided to go for it. And we go ahead and commit killing the bird right there. We could have rearranged that and saved ourselves uh, HP. Um, and of course, they they get their big opener. So we both kind of like hit our each other with our big openers. But our big opener resulted in a KO. And their big opener did not. So when we have one body up, we're in a really good position, in my opinion. Okay, so we get wooden stab. You know, it's damage. I should have looked at the, the timing, you know, and I should have realized, like, okay, a KO just happened. They're most likely not going to swing. Now they're going to swing. Right? So it's the ebb and flow of that. Sometimes I got to remember, um, after a KO happens, generally speaking, it was a big push. So usually no energy is being used. They go for the double energy destruction, but we have no energy to speak of. And yeah, I, that's another thing to look for too. If you see that they have piercing sound, anything to get rid of energy, then yeah, you want to make sure you can deal with that. We get our double discard here. They have no cards in hand anyway. So we kind of force them into this bad situation. They know we're going to discard their cards, so they have to play into me. They get nothing but tank cards in this turn. And I think, uh, yeah, we just chill. Yeah, we just chill. I was calculating that they didn't have a way to kill us just yet. They only have three cards anyway. So I figured, okay, you know what? No, what? no, no big deal. And then the same thing in this situation. They only have three cards. But I have to remember they have energy steal. So I, I don't know if I decide to use up all the energy. I probably only use three. Oh, what do you know? I just use one. Right? So we get the stun on the back. It's, oh, it's, it, I cannot stress this. If you can stun the back row axie, you are in good shape because basically it's like a free card. Undeniable, just a free card. So great. Plus one on the energy right now, and then we decide to go all in and look at this situation. They were playing four cards with their, I think that's what it's called, a rib beast thread. And then we get the crit, knocking it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, this is still a big hill to climb. Let's keep in mind they do have Shrimp's Grace, so they are able to heal themselves. Uh, and healing against the bug, because the bug does not do very good damage. Like, Third Glance is good damage. Sure, and Antiseptic Bait, yeah, pretty good damage too. But Antiseptic Bait is uh, not a stun card that's going to provide value here. It's going to provide good shield, you know, because they're not able to break through with one card. So it's like a one-to-one -one card block. So I think, yeah, I go ahead and I just throw it out there. I've, I've thrown it out there knowing that, you know, you can't really kill my bug. You have to overextend into the bug. And then if you overextend and I just played one card, then, you know, I can just take you from there. So we're going to go ahead and let him gain a little bit of health here. We take a little bit of damage, very minuscule. I lock and load up. And then I go with the um, with a third glance. Now, I, I'm looking back on this play, and that was kind of a... Oh, no, we do get the jump, so that's actually not too bad. Okay. Oh, and this is a dangerous situation, because look at this. I double all-out shot here. And I think the way that I calculated it is that, yeah, you see, I noticed I even threw the, I even threw this, you know, for a little bit of extra chip. Because I was like, yo, I can't let this game keep going on. He's got healing cards in his hand. And here we go, 90 damage in hand, 94 HP remaining, comes in. High roll, it does 113 damage. But look, they still got damage in hand. They still got damage in hand, takes the first hit, and then the second, ah, oh, and then we just barely squeak it out, 21 HP. Goodness gracious. What a moment, what a clutch moment. Now let's go ahead and see if we clutch it out right here.